when you are creating your fairy tale, um, there are times whenever you want to tell the story, but you don't want a character to be saying or having a thought or a speech block. And we had talked about the speech blocks and the think block, and they're here in the looks group where it says say or think. But um, like I'm doing the three little pigs, and so I want the story to start out saying once upon a time there were three little pigs. But I don't really want one of the pigs to be saying that. So um, in order to be able to have the pig do or have the story do that, I'm actually going to go to my backgrounds, to my stage right here. So I'm going to click on my stage and bring that up. And under backdrops, here's where I have my three different stages set in order to be able to tell the story. I actually need to create a couple of more. But so this is the way that my stage is set. And I've got my first background where all three houses are built and looking good. Um, and so I'm actually going to put text on the background to tell part of the story. So to help protect myself so in case I mess up something, I'm going to duplicate this background. So I just right clicked on the background and said duplicate. And now here's my extra houses. And then here on my, um, on my stage creator, you should be able to see the arrow. If you do not see the arrow here, come down here to the very bottom and it'll say convert to vector instead of convert to bitmap. And you want to make sure that you are in vector mode. Don't ask what it is, it doesn't really matter. Just know that you have to be in vector mode. So I'm going to click on the little text box right here and then click on the screen. And I am going to type once upon a time there were three little pigs. And then I can take my arrow and I can move that wherever I want it. I can also change my font color so that it shows up better. So I'm going to try like a light blue maybe. It is going to be hard to find a color that fits really well um, on the clouds and on the background. So for me, I'm going to actually move this back up to where it was so that it's all in the dark blue. You might have to play around with it some. Um, that's just kind of one of those things that you have to do whenever you're creating something. That blue shows up a little bit better on that um, darker blue background. And you'll actually see it change here um, on, your, on your main stage, on your main screen. So when I go to my scripts, when the green flags clicked, I want it to start at the three houses. Then I'm going to tell it to wait two seconds. And then I'm going to say switch the background to three houses too. So when I click the green flag, then the, then the story kind of starts and then I can continue to build additional stages where the background changes so the story is being told. Um, but you do want to start off with the plain background first and you always want to have your script for your stage on the stage itself. And some of my students, they go into like a sprite and they'll actually, they'll actually have a sprite change some of my students will go into a sprite itself and have the change or have the um, the sprite switch the backdrop to and right here's that block under looks and I recommend that you don't do that because if you come to a problem it's much easier to troubleshoot things individually if the only script you have written for the sprite are things that the sprite is going to do and the only thing you have written in the scripts for the stage is what the stage is going to do so try to avoid the switch backdrop to um, if you need to have a sprite switch the backdrop this is where you go into control or I'm sorry under events and you have them broadcast a message so I could say that for him sprite one to broadcast a new message and I could say um, once upon a time 
So he's going to broadcast once upon a time, and the stage is going to receive once upon a time, and then switch the backdrop. So you can use those broadcast messages as a way of communicating with other sprites and other scripts as well.